this is Charlie Mionda, and welcome back for, I don't know, part round. I think we're in like part eight <laughs> of painting and sketching with Francis. Why is there a plane right now? What the heck? Oh, okay. So, it was a really long weekend, you guys. Um, I don't even remember where we were at. Seriously. Uh, let's see. We worked on the wings. Yeah, we worked on the wings. Um, so, last week, we got her skin worked on. We worked on her wings. Um, and I saved a preview, and I uploaded it to DeviantArt. Compiled all the videos. And Cardine says she wants the background change to more sunsetty colors. So, I'm not going to do it right now. I'm just going to leave it as it is. But, after this whole picture is finished, I'm going to go back and try to edit it in Photoshop to change the color scheme so that the the background is going to be all sunsetty. And the wings, because, yeah, that's the problem, is the wings. Because the teal was painted into the wings, it's very difficult to change them to sunsetty colors uh, without screwing up the whole rest of the color scheme for the wings. So we're going to try and change this later, maybe. Actually, let me try something. Uh, before I started recording, I went ahead and I, I tried to do it this way to change my, my colors. But what you can see happening is, look at the, the upper portion of the wings where the black is. As you start messing around with the colors, they become like more gray. Um, and like it, yeah, they're, it messes things up. Oh, I kind of like that, except for the blue. See, this is the problem I have. The teal worked. <laughs> Not so much these other colors. So I'm, I'm going to have to do some messing around with it. Um, I want to see... Where's my big old brush? Here? Yeah. What if I can do a color mask over just the teal bits? I want to see what happens if I try to change it this way and not like the whole image. Maybe <laughs> I'll get the colors I want. Um, it would help if I up my saturation. Why can't I get the color I want? Oh, I guess because I didn't make this very bright. Oh, green would have been pretty. It's very hard to get the oranges and the pinks out of this. Uh, hold on. Let me... Give me more saturation here. Please. Thank you. I want... Ugh. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Up the saturation. Okay, that works much better. That works much better. So what if we do, like, really yellow tones? And then... I don't know. Do I want yellow tones? Or I don't want red tones because there's so much red. The pink is kind of cool. But I think I want to do, like, this gold-orange color. Let's try this. Um... We want high saturation. Oh, that's fine. Let's do that. And then let's edit. Clear. Change the hue of the background. So that it gets somewhere in that range. Bring my saturation up. Because we're going to have to find that orangey color. Huh, what I'll do is, okay, get that color, and then, <laughs> uh, my big brush, oh 
we'll go ahead and change the center bit to be more of that yellowy tone. I don't know. We're screwing around with this. We're going to figure this out. Blues. Where's my edges? That's more of that. Um, I don't know. We're just going to mess around with this for a minute. Bear with me. So, I hope everybody had a good Easter. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was, no, <laughs> no, uh, where's, I guess that looks darker than it, it actually is, let's, I don't know, we're screwing around with this, actually, what is this, red, deeper red, let's get this down into the pinks and purples. Um, yeah, so it was Easter weekend this, this weekend, and I did some stupid stuff. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't pay much at, oh, no, no, <laughs> who don't pay much attention to my DeviantArt, um, I'm allergic to chocolate. I know it's weird. I, I, it's, I know, I know. People ask me all about it all the time. They're like, really? That's so sad. <laughs> like, chocolate is this awesome thing. And it is. I love chocolate. It's so delicious. But it does make me very, very sick. Um, and so, uh, I had a kind of a strange Easter. Um, so part of my family was sick for Easter, and I catch everything. I am, like, ridiculously horrible at catching, like, every disease. <laughs> it's really bad. And, oh, I want to lighten this up. So when I found out my family was sick, I was like, nah, I don't think I want to go. I don't want to be around people that are going to make me really ill. No, thank you. <laughs> and, uh, so I didn't go. I need to brighten up the yellows in this. Um. I stayed home and I made the mistake of eating chocolate, which I should not ever do, but I did it. And of course that meant, like, <laughs> the next two days, it was like having food poisoning. That's what chocolate does to me. It makes me really sick. Oh, my stomach hurts so bad and I, I like couldn't even eat. And, oh, it was so awful. I'm feeling much better today, but it was just stupid of me to do that. It really was. But it's so good. The wings, uh, I don't want to make them. I don't. trying to figure out what the best way to do this is. I, I want that really bright to come through. And I want it to be very contrasty and bold. looks about right. The, the thing about having these see-through wings is the brightest spot on the wings needs to be fairly bright, 
but not quite as bright as the light behind her head because you are looking through a membrane. It has to be a little dimmer, but it also needs to be very, very saturated because that's just how skin works. Yeah, so we're going we're gonna to go with that. That works. Um, I may have to adjust some of the other colors like on her skin and stuff to readjust to this very sunsetty background. That's why the, the background has such this has this huge impact on color. Which is why I don't like changing it. <laughs> it's okay, Cardine, it's okay. I just I don't like changing them once I've got one set because well, especially when I have like the skin painted. Because you have to be very careful with your tones. I'm gonna have to make her skin more saturated. Because of the background. Let me make this really saturated for a second. I'm gonna figure out which tone works the best for this. that's going to work. I want it saturated enough where she doesn't seem really ashen against the background, but I also don't want to over-saturate her or she'll look orange. <laughs> this is so difficult. <laughs> okay, we're good. Not going to mess with it anymore. Uh, what's next? Um, I'm probably going to come back and maybe add like veins to the wings and stuff like that, but I'm not going to worry about it until after we get rid of our lines. So for now, not going to look at it. Why are you in the closet? There's a cat in my closet. Buffers! Buff! What you doing? She's like lounging in my whole closet. Get out of there! Yeah, you! What are you doing? Go find your loopy. I'm not awake today. Um, oh gosh, I'm gonna have to re-edit these reds, aren't I? Um, bum, bum, bum. Because they're gonna be need to be a little bit more saturated too. I kind of like the pinky reds. <laughs> um. Okay, well, we'll yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Okay, whatever. We're gonna work on the reds today. Yes. Um, I'm really trying to get this whole picture done by the end of this week because I've been working on it for so long and I know Cardine's getting a little impatient. It's all right. She has a right to be impatient. I'm usually much faster than this, but recording is eating my soul. Buffy, get out of the closet. I don't know what she does in there. She's like, it's like full of papers. Uh, oh, it wasn't her. What was it then? Hi, Buffy. <laughs> Never mind. Um, yeah, my hall closet is not your typical hall closet. It's like full of important documents, like my birth certificate and stuff like that. I don't know because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. I don't want it on the desk. What do y'all talk about? <laughs> and she likes to sit in there. She like sleeps in there on the papers. It's weird. What was I doing? I'm gonna paint. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, there's my red. Where's my? Reset my red on here. Okay. So we need a slightly darker color. Buffy, get all the closet. <laughs> I'm gonna yell at her so much today. Um, my brain is not working this today, you guys. I'm like, my, my head is like in so many different directions. Don't even know. Um, let's see. So over the weekend, I... What did I do? Um, I stayed home on Easter. <laughs> um, God, did I do anything this weekend? Oh, I went uh, to New Mexico. Yay. I went shopping. There's a plane. It's 
lots of plans today. It's like they wait specifically for me to color something, and then they just show up. They're plotting against me. Let's see. Oh, trying to think of how this is all going to work. Yeah. Um, what else did I do? See, I went shopping in Las Cruces in New Mexico. Oh god, my brush is frozen. Hold on. Sometimes my my side does this weird thing where all of a sudden it just wants to lock up my brush and the only way to fix it is to minimize the program and bring it back up. I'm not sure why that happens and it doesn't happen all the time, which is why it's so stupid. I don't get it. Let's see, what did I shop for when I was up? I went looking for... Oh, I went to Hastings! Uh, it's for those of you who aren't familiar with Hastings. It is a book and media store. Lots of books. It has like DVDs, music, and games. And I just like to go there sometimes because it has cool stuff. So I went to Hastings and got some Doctor Who card game stuff, because that's cool and I didn't know it existed. And what else? I'm trying to think. I didn't really do a lot. <laughs> went and ate the food court. Whatever. Um God, I didn't do anything, did I? Which is so stupid because there was so much I wanted to do. Oh, uh, I bought a game. I have Sim City, whatever number it is, the new one. I don't know. Brain dead. And I played a lot of. Oh, it's locking up again. I played a lot of uh, Don't Starve. Have you guys ever played that game? It is so much fun. It's so weird, but it's so much fun. Um, I don't know, I've been thinking of doing a Let's Play of it, because it's, it's so silly, and I love it. Uh, it's this, like, survival game. Where you play this little dude, or, well, later you get more characters, but basically you play this little dude, and he's, like, dropped off in the middle of the wilderness, you don't really know why, and told, don't starve! And so you go around, like, collecting supplies and uh, food and whatnot, and you have to... Uh, screw that up. You have to learn to survive in the wilderness with just what you can find. And you you learn to, like, build science-y stuff and do alchemy. And there's, like, monsters that try to eat you. <laughs> it's great. I love it. So I played a lot of that, and I suck at SimCity, whatever, by the way. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> My first city, I, I was, uh, I set it up, and I didn't really, really know what I was doing. I was like, whatever, I'm just going to learn how to play this game. And <laughs> it didn't work out the way I expected it to. Oh, no, why is that happening? Uh, when someone asked me about it yesterday, the way I described it was, um, well, I was doing really good until the great fire of something, something. <laughs> because, um, yeah, that happened. All of a sudden, my whole town started burning, and I didn't have any firemen, and I didn't have money to buy firemen, and... It was kind of bad.
I'm putting in the shadows. See, I want the light to show through there, kind of like we did on the wings, but um, there needs to be shadows from her legs and the cloth that's hanging down in front of her skirt so that the, the depth stays because otherwise if I just kept lightening this um, it would lose all the depth here in the cloth for this. Yeah, we're getting there. Uh, this is going to need a lot more shadows, much darker ones. So let's go ahead and do that. I really want to get this. What was the, oh, yeah, I was going to tell you all the other stuff I'm doing this week. Um, so I really want to get this done <laughs> by the end of the week because I have so much other stuff I'm doing. Um, I'm in the process of getting together an author interview with Michelle Bellin uh, who did Rogue Alliance one of the books I reviewed not that long ago because I read books and review them for those of you who didn't know up until now um, so I've been trying to set up an, up an author interview with her I sent her some questions and I am just waiting for her to reply with the answers and then I'm going to do an article um, it's really cool it's like my first ever author interview so I'm like I don't know what I'm doing but that's okay <laughs> and let's see what else so I'm, I'm trying to set that up and I'm going to repaint all these jewels, so I don't have to worry about this. In between that, um, I've also been working on reviewing these two books that I was having a lot of trouble reading, which is not that great. <laughs> um, I got one off of NetGalley, and so the publisher was waiting for me to review it, and I did. I got that done this morning before I hopped on to do this, which is why we're starting a little bit later. Um, the other one was sent to me directly by the author, and it's, what is it called? I'm trying to think. I don't remember. I don't remember. I'll have to look it up. Um, but it's, the problem is it's geared more towards children, and I'm obviously not a child. And so I'm having a really hard time getting into it because um, children's books, you kind of have to look at them a little differently than than adult books. Um, adult books tend to be a lot more serious. And so you expect, like, the bad guys in the books to be serious and not whiny and juvenile. <laughs> um, so... I'm having a lot of difficulty not giving it a bad review because the main I I think he's evil. He may just be a really rotten main character. I don't know. But he's like the biggest whiner. That's all he does is whine about how his things aren't going right and he's like so mean. I assume he's a bad guy, but I may be wrong. He may just be a really awful lead dude. And, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Where's my color? Um, 
So yeah, I'm having a lot of trouble with it. And if it's a kid's book, then it's okay. Because it's okay if it's a little whiny when it's a kid's book. Uh, they think it's funny. But as an adult book, you expect your your main evil guy to be a little bit less whiny and a little bit more creepy and scary. So I'm having a serious amount of trouble getting into it. Um, just trying to set that aside. Oh, oh. It keeps locking up. It's not a good day to record, I guess. And so I got to get that done um, because the author is releasing the book on April the 4th. What day is today? It's April 3rd. <laughs> uh, he's releasing it April 4th uh, for free on Amazon. And he wants the reviews put up by then so that people will know that they should buy it. Well, problem is I'm having a lot of trouble reading it because I just can't get into it. And sometimes that happens, but I have to read it. I said I would and I'm going to. Um... It's just really, really difficult. And so, yeah, I need to get that done, like, by tomorrow. I have to read an entire book. And I don't think I've gotten past the first chapter, because the very first scene has that awful bad guy. And I just keep going, no, why is he like this? It's not good. <laughs> and so, yeah, I need to work on that. And... I don't know, there's just so much I want to do right now. I desperately just want to go play games. <laughs> but I'm not going to, because I have to work. Um, I cannot let this take longer than it is. That would be just ridiculous. So I'm here, and I'm working, and my mouse keeps freezing. And I've been sick. But I'm here working. I'm going to get this done. If it comes down to it and it's really starting to take too long, what I'll just do is, rather than sit here and ramble in you guys' ears, um, I will go ahead and... Oh, this is not going to work the way I want it to. Um, no! Stop! <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Oh, if this isn't going to work the way I want it to, and it looks like I'm going to start getting really pressed for time, uh, what I'll do is I'll just record it without audio, and I'll do a speed paint of the last little bit of it, so everybody can see how it gets done, but I don't have to worry about um, working around noise and people being here. And just my schedule, I'll be able to do like 10 minutes at a time and just piece it all together. Whatever works. See, I want that really dark color back. I'm hungry. I should have had breakfast. My mouse keeps freezing, and it's really irritating. I was actually going to work on this, uh, what was it? Sometime this weekend, I can't remember when. I had a little bit of time, and I was like, yay, I can go do some of this and get it finished. And, uh, what ended up happening is <laughs> my mouse died. <laughs> I didn't have any batteries. So, yeah, I was having some severe issues over the weekend. Things just, they weren't working correctly. Nothing was going quite as planned. And Monday and Tuesday, I had relatives here because of Easter. So I didn't get anything done then. It's just been a mess. But I'm here, and I'm working. And we're going to get through this. Okay. Boots. Most of this is going to be in shadow. It's towards the bottom of the picture. 
to let a little bit of light get on the very front of her boots. I'll put the shadow cast by the the metal work here. Ah, oh, mouse, behave. All these itty little bitty details. I love itty bitty details. No one ever notices them, but they really help. So you should always add these little details when you can. I'm just going to like repaint these completely, so I'm not going to worry too much about all the jewels. I do them a very special way, but it does need that really dark uh, outer color, so we're just going to go with it. Okay, let's see, we need, dark, 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 Come on, mouse. Just behave a little today, please. Most of this is in shadow. I want the contrast on that. Shadow from the arm. Okay, now we need the highlights. Uh, we actually want to gear this a little bit. We'll do this. We'll grab our orangies and use that as our highlights. Don't worry, I'm going to go back and I'm going to put this shadow from the sword across here too. I just want to work in this very bright orange color into the highlights. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to add more yellow to it too. But it's going to tie that background color into this. too much down there. Need my bright, bright yellows. Get a smaller brush. I'll blend all of that in. Okay, backlighting, backlighting, backlighting. 
Um, This is bigger. Come on, brush, quit it. I don't know why it locks up like that. That is so irritating. Blend this in. Oh, I want those to be hard highlights because they're backlights. I need to do that. Highlight that. Backlight those. That. I think. What else? A little bit of a highlight there. about right okay I need my deep deep reds and we are gonna put the shadow here I don't remember what size brush I originally used wanted to put a little dip in that so we show that the cloth folds are there. Um, I'm not going to bother putting uh, shadow across this yet because I need to work on the, the blacks first. So I'm going to soften this up a little bit. Get a much deeper color. And do the center. There. We have our shadow. Um, I don't think I have any other shadows to worry about at the moment. Okay. Let's see. Um, I can't get much farther with that until I get my other colors in and then I'll be able to pull the lines out and go ahead and fix all of that. So, here are my blacks. I want to put a, like a really reddish undertone to this because there's so much red in her outfit that I'm assuming that the red is going to be picked up in the blacks. We'll see how this goes. I might change my mind, but... No, this is, this is going to work. Okay, so first we do our um, contour shading, which is the contour of the leg, and then we'll put our sharp shading that goes for the actual cast shadows of objects. Uh oh, why is that there? There's gray there. Black, whatever, that must be from the wings. Preserve opacity. There we go. Okay, I want my paintbrush back and my black layer back. 
Oh gosh, there's more, isn't there? How did I miss these? My tummy is growling. It says it's time for breakfast. And I say, no, you're not getting breakfast. You're going to have lunch later. I don't usually eat breakfast. I complain about it a lot because I know I should eat breakfast. But I don't. Because I'm too lazy to eat that early in the morning. <laughs> um, blend. There we go. I want that to be a nice... soft transition because this is the contour shading. Um, where's my black and white? Okay. Okay, um, I, I'm not sure what I want to do about her hair. In fact, this is what I'm going to do. This could be done so much better. Oh well. Whee! I'm going to go ahead and cut that out and put it on a new layer because I don't want to screw it up. <laughs> It'll be easier to do on its own separate layer. So we're going to just leave it there. Okay, um, I got the contour shading. Let's do a little bit more contour shading. I want to be able to see the fact that this is actually shaded. So I don't want anything that's pure black. But I do feel like I should darken things up because this is like black after all. So... Sharp shading from the skirt. I'll use this really dark color for the sharp shading. Um, shading from the metal bits. Shading from the legs, and assume this is shaded from the skirt above it, and because I feel like it, <laughs> whatever. Um, no, this actually needs to be dark because it is very near the bottom of the picture, and there's not going to be a lot of light down here. Okay. Zoom in a little bit. Um, let's do a little bit of sharp shading right here on her arm and darken up this edge. A little bit of sharp shading because I'm assuming this red band sticks out a little bit. I know, I'm making a step up as I go along, you guys. You'll notice I do that a lot. <laughs> um, okay, shading from the hilt. Oh gosh, this is where it's going to get painful. Shading from the bands. A 
bro. too much about that. Do you want to darken up the inside? Ah! Frozen mouse again. The inside edge of this arm. Let me see a little bit darker. And I'm going to darken that up because I am going to come back with a backlight. Um, okay. Now... I need to put in the shadow from the sword. Let's see, how did this go? No, back. Soften up the edges a little bit. Really darken up the middle. Um, actually, because this shadow is getting farther away from the sword, it actually starts to spread out and diffuse towards the end. Because, eh. That is not what I wanted to do. Um, because as it gets farther away from the blade, it, the, the shadow isn't as sharp. So it needs to go ahead and diffuse a little bit as it goes down. All right. What else was there? Is that all the shading the blacks need? I guess so, until we put in the highlights. So let's do that. Uh, what was I using? I think I was using a four brush, but we'll use a six. Pick up some of that yellow. Here's my mitts. That works. I just want to put a little bit of yellow in this. So we'll just blend that in. It just changes the hue a little bit. I don't need real bright highlights that far down the legs. Although, I'm going to put a little bit of a... Oh! Brush behave! Ugh. It doesn't want to work! A little bit of a bright... And I want to put a little bit of light on the ribbons. Need a little bit of no, it's 
take off my last one. Here's my airbrush. I need an airbrush because I need this to be really soft. underlying hue for the highlights to be a little bit more goldish. This would have worked much better down here. I'm going to pick up some of this orange. Add a little bit of that. That works. Alright, so majority of the blacks are done. Let's see, I still need to do her hair, I need to do the maroons, and I need to do the metals. But we're getting there. And if I don't think these blacks are quite strong enough, I can always add more contrast. change the colors a little bit, which I will actually probably do. Let's see, can I up the saturation a little bit so the color shows? Ooh, I can make it green. No, I wanted that yellow and red color. We'll do that. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's so much more to do. How long have I been recording? It's 10-something. When did I start? I don't even know. Whatever. Um, oh god, hair. Can we skip hair for now? Um, we're getting there. Okay, there is a lot more to do. I'm going to take a break because I don't know how long I've been at it, but I know I've done at least two sections and it's time to take a break we will be back hopefully shortly for the next part of this we have so much more to do <laughs> um <laughs> see you guys in a little bit thanks for watching <laughs>